on Sunday, November 15, year 2020, Celestial Church of Christ, Elisha Parish, clock 25 years. The parish under the amiable leadership of eminent Nigerian prophet and acclaimed Nostradamus of our time, Prophet Shepherd Dr. Marcus Koro Dele Tibetan, celebrated the adult harvest and 25th year anniversary with a brand new cathedral, which was open for worship with the presence of congregants from all walks of life who grace the occasion to celebrate with the man of God and members of the parish. The celebration is a follow-up to the Wednesday, October 7, year 2020 Founders Day ceremony, which was celebrated with grace and praises. Founded October 7, 1995, under the divine instruction given to the Lord's servant, Prophet MKO Tibetan, the parish has grown in leap and bounds with several members in countries across the world. Many who grace the occasion were surprised at the rate the new cathedral was erected less than six months after the global COVID-19 lockdown. It was agreed that the success of the new cathedral was a lost doing and not by the power of men. The cathedral which was at the advanced stage of completion was open to worship with a lampstand laced with a bowl on top of it with their custom seven lamps with seven pipes of lighted candles which symbolizes the celestial church of Christ according to the book of Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 3. Starting the day, father of the prophet, Parfestos Okinola Tibetan, 97, opened the day with a prayer, giving all glory back to God Almighty, who appointed the hand of his son, prophet MKO Tibetan, to erect a cathedral after 25 years in the vineyard. Today is very fine. Fine, please. Very fine. Fine, fine day. Double fine, please. <laughs> Complete 25 years. Jehovah. Holy. Jesus Christ. My child, my mother. Holy. 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 Baba <laughs> Baba <laughs> in his own remark, Special Apostle Ayodele Ohiwere from London described the new cathedral as God's miracle as he remembered the prophet prophesied 20 years ago and the prophet might have even forgotten he did. Our daddy in the Lord is our daddy in the Lord indeed. I um, really, uh, what failed me on how to describe this, this, this my find today, uh, because what, what the first thing I said to him, that's wow, this is, uh, this is majestic, this is a prophecy of 20, I don't know if he remembers himself, but when I reminded him, 
outside there, then he came back to him. The Lord has really, he's, a, he's a, the, the man of God, quite simply. Great parish. It wasn't like this when I, 20 years ago. And um, I mean, it's really, really impressive what he's been doing here. And I know he can only do that with the grace of God. <laughs> Indescribable. Indescribable. He's a really, really man of God. As I said, it's a indescribable. If you cannot, if what fail you have to describe someone, then you find it indescribable. You, it's not that you don't know what to say. It's just that you know you can't describe him because it will kind of be like some sort of an exaggeration. But we don't want that to set in. But he is a man of God. Everything, everything about him is special. <laughs> everything about him is special. <laughs> everything about him is special. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, gosh, Elisha Parish to, to, to go from strength to strength. It, it can only be because looking at this, if you come from 20 years ago and it's this, I mean, you can imagine another 20, 25 years time. Uh, um, you know Rome. Have you been to Rome? You know the cathedral in Rome, Basilica. That's what it is. Right. Uh, my name is um, Kunle Ohiwere, and um, this is my father here, and that's my brother. And um, I have so much to say about him, to be honest, because the journey to my progress in the UK started from here. And today, to the glory of God, just God Almighty, to the glory of God, we are here standing together celebrating another harvest. Um, that's um, 25 years, the 25th um, year um, anniversary, which I give all glory to Almighty God and um, giving me that opportunity to be here today. And right there, I will give a quote, what he normally says. Say, a prophet is born, not trained. And that is an epitome. You can see an example here. And the prophecy of 20 years ago, you can see it. It's come to pass. So, Elisha, 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 I, I, I seriously believe that the Spirit of God is here. So much, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you, if you, you can, I don't even know how to, to, to describe that. It's beyond them. Um, measurable is immeasurable let me put it that way um you can see progress everywhere we are the um, we are the seed of elisha and you can see all around us everything is turning around for our good and it's all progress coming up to this um, present time is progress and it's progressive and moving forward is still progress and this is the place where you want to be where the truth is being taught, is being thought, and as a mentor, as a teacher, he's got all the qualities. All we need to do is obedience. Because there is a reward, there is reward in obedience. So thank you. Uh, that's my son from UK. He's an apostle, he's a well leader, and then he's a re very reliable and responsible man. Even they came from UK because of this anniversary, but they didn't allow me to know. So when we just coming from the guest house now, we met. I said, oh, are you in town? They said, they want to surprise me. So when he goes to the gate, he said, oh my God, I've been out of this place for the past 20 years, but the prophecy of the cathedral eventually came to pass. So find out from a um, special apostle, Ayo, Dele, um, Ohiwere. The Let's Church of Christ, Elisha Parish was founded on Saturday, 7th of October, year 1995, with the first service taking place inside the shredded apartment on Sunday 8, 1995 with just seven members. The parish grew into a famous spiritual ground where several spiritual battles were won for people of diverse races from all walks of life. Behind this good work of salvation is the founding prophet Dr. MKO Tibetan, named Marcos Korodile Oluatosin Tibetan by his parents. The prophet is a native of Odiaye in the old Okitpopa division on those states southwestern Nigeria. He came to Lagos in the year 1985 in search 
of Grena Passage. As a simple, most unassuming young man endowed with an unrelenting will to succeed, Prophet Marcos tried his hand at different jobs shortly on arrival in Lagos, including dry cleaning, driving, and sales of automobiles. These are qualities that endear him to friends and colleagues. Meanwhile, his natural gift of prophecy remained almost dormant until his new set of friends and church members observed him as a gifted visionary man. Back in Udaye in his younger days, as the prophet grew in age, his parents merely noticed that the young cousin had many old friends who came at different times of the day to consult him for advice. The same thing happened to him as a student of Stella Maris College in Okitipupa. Paradoxically, the prophet himself did not recognize the fact that whatever advice he offered his old friends at home was a package of prophecy until after some years sojourn in Lagos. Through worship and total adherence to God's commandments, Prophet Tibet on visionary gift glaringly surfaced and his popularity suddenly spread across the globe like wildfire. The Prophet has visited more than 90 cities around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ and the good work of humanity. Prophet Tibet don't strongly believes in one man, one wife. He is married to Mother Celestia Bosede Christina Tibetan, Ni Olagundoye, and they are both blessed with five lovely children, a girl and four boys. As a family man, the prophet believes in taking good care of his children and providing for their needs and quality education, according to John 21 verse 18 to 21. The prophet has the rare gift of mastering the Holy Bible and he quotes exhaustively from the Holy Book. The most remarkable feat so far was before a large congregation in Toronto, Canada, where the prophet Marcus gave 150 biblical quotations within 45 minutes of his sermon. Prophet M.K. Tibetan is a disciplined man of God. He condemns ladies who wear too much ornament and makeup on their faces, including ankle chains. The prophet is loved and very well respected in his native town of Odiaye. If you love the truth, you would like to visit any of his Sunday services to find the truth that will set you free. Through his prophetic prowess, Prophet Tibetan has helped to this world children from Hitato, numerous hopeless couples. He has united several couples who became victims of marriage accidents, including Africans, Americans, and Europeans. The prophet is gifted with the ability to cure certain chronic ailments such as sickle cell anemia, diabetes, arthritis, stroke, and personality problems. Unlike most Pentecostal pastors, Prophet MKO Tibetan does not believe in miracles. Rather, he appreciates the bold approach by all men of God to use their ability to perform miracles to visit beggars and destitutes living on the streets of major cities of Nigeria and heal them verbatim. Prophet Prophet MKU Tibetan has severally appealed to the Christian Association of Nigeria to enforce all pastors to have individual private jobs instead of depending solely on their congregation for financial support. The Prophet was born December 20, 1960 to the family of Pa Festus Okinola Tibetan, his father and Madame Maria Oluwafumilayo Tibetan of Blessed Memory. The 25th year adult harvest and silver jubilee anniversary was graced by elder statesman and well-respected Celestial Church of Christ prophet, Wolida John Shodipe, among other important men of God like Superior Evangelist J.O. Oyedele, who led a cream of other men of God from CCC Alimosho Parish 1, where the prophet started his career as a prophet and Wolida some three decades ago. His Eminence, Rev. M. O. Soji of Celestial Church of Christ Worldwide, Nigerian Diocese, led a delegate from the Diocese to the Silver Jubilee event of Celestial Church of Christ, Elisha Parish. Other eminent personalities are a former Oyo State Commissioner, Chief Alige, who came for the first time to see and appreciate the Prophet for his courageous stand for truth. An Ogun State-based philanthropist and former gubernatorial aspirant, Chief Dr. Jackie Adune Kazin, and a Lagos-based politician and philanthropist, Honorable Dr. Deepa Okeyomi Karigo, were among some of the eminent Nigerians who graced the occasion. Happy Silver Jubilee to members and founding shepherd of Celestial Church of Christ, Elisha Parry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
children. To appreciate the time and the big money you are going to have. Oh, it's my big year of this great show. Lord, it's a very sweet in your hand. How do you have a blessing in your hand?
Father, forgive us our sins. Take away our 